Um, all right, this is Alex, and this is my friend Solange, and uh, we're on uh, San Jose State University campus. Solange um, always has an amazing style, and she actually has her own YouTube channel, Instagram. Uh, she's got a great following, and I'm going to put up the links to all of them. So before you were doing tutorials, how did you find out about how to do makeup and hair and stuff like that? What were your sources back then? Yeah, YouTube was definitely one of the biggest sources. I actually took a class in Los Angeles on how to do makeup on myself and practice. Practice is really what has made um, a difference in my makeup. Everybody uh, has something about their appearance that they really like, right? And they, uh, and something that they really don't like. Some features that I actually like about myself that I like to highlight are my legs because they help me look taller. I'm not the tallest person and being around like beauty queens and models all the time, it's really hard to be like the shorter one. Yeah. So I like to wear skirts and dresses to make myself look taller. Anything you try to hide or sort of kind of... Uh... Yeah, so that, that would be like my nose. I'm, I usually try to make it thinner. I guess it makes me feel more confident, so. And you mentioned you do it with contouring. Explain right. to people what contouring is. Contouring is basically taking um, light and dark shades and kind of changing your features with it. It's different for every person. So the way I do it on myself is completely different than someone else will do it on their face. But at the end of the day, it's the same concept. Okay. And you don't just, this is not a technique for a nose. It could be for anything else. It could be cheekbones. I know some girls do it with cleavage. Some girls even, actually some guys do it with a six pack, right? right? So it is for any part of your body and for either gender, I think. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I've gone to beauty pageants and I've been backstage before the bikini competition and everyone's contouring themselves and making sure their stomachs look flawless. So. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> even girls do Tell it. us about where you're going today. Okay, so today I'm going to the Fairmont and I'm going to try to achieve a glamorous yet natural look. Okay, well, so explain <laughs> that. So a lot of people think natural makeup means really no makeup, meaning right. like this is how I naturally am, so I'm out of the door. So natural just kind of means emphasizing your features and making good techniques with the products that you use so it doesn't look like you're applying too much. So talk about what kind of hair style you prefer and what kind of outfit do you usually pick out? Okay, so I would usually pick out um, maybe like a dress and some heels, so it's very simple but chic at the same time. And as far as hair, I like to keep it very basic with maybe like some curls, just something to give it volume and so that it looks neat, but nothing extravagant. <laughs> Alright, so I'm applying a neutral base. So right now I'm just shaping my eye with the color that I'm going to start blending with. So I just create like a little V. And then I'll use that, this same brush, to blend everything out and just make everything look smoother. And with this brush, I'm gonna start adding in a little bit of a darker color. So I'm gonna mix some black with the same purplish. With that same brush, I'm gonna go under my waterline and I'm just adding in some black just to darken everything up. So I'm adding golden um, to, to the inner corner so I can get like a smoky eye effect. And then I'm gonna go back in with a blender brush again. The same blender brush that we used earlier and just kind of mix it all in so that it blends. So these are just correctors that you can get at any local drugstore. And I just use this to make my line on the side sharp. Just bring it up like that and it mm -hmm. makes a line. Mm -hmm. and this is a concealer and just to cover up any imperfections before I go in with my foundation. And I like to use this airbrush brush because it gives my foundation a nice silky texture. This is this begins the contour and what I like to do is just bring it in from my cheekbones and kind of make like a C so that it lifts me up. It lifts my face and it also makes it longer. And then I bring it a little bit in right here too to make my face thinner. And then I'll bring a little bit here so that it makes my face longer right here. I also use the lighter shade to highlight. So I'll bring this up here to rise, to make my cheeks rise up a little bit. Wherever I use the light color, that's what I'm trying to bring out. And wherever I use the darker color, that's what I'm trying to hide or kind of change. And from here, it's just blending. 
So this is what I call a non-surgical nose job and basically what I do is I thin out my nose and make it appear thinner than it actually is and then I just blend it and then I go back in with a little bit of highlighter just to make sure that's defined. So then I take this brush and I get the lighter color and I powder my highlight one more time just to make sure it sets. It's just the blush that I'm applying. I just lightly add some colors in to fill in wherever my brow looks a little bit empty. We're applying just a nude color on the lips to keep it nice and subtle. Alright, so I'm just going to apply like a little bit of this glue. my new me wand in at 400 degrees and this is 32 millimeters and I'm just gonna grab big chunks of hair and curl it and after that I'm gonna brush them out so that I get very loose curls and that they look natural not too um, not too hair sprayed in I guess so this outfit is a leather type skirt with tall heels that go knee high up and I'm using a tank top under this because it has like some little holes under there and I've never actually worn this before so I'm going to see how it turns out and the other outfit that I would like to try on is um, these kind of crocodile looking heels and they're just very similar to like the Christian Louboutin so Kate so that's why I love those and this little knit jacket with some jeans for a more casual night out. And I have a couple of purses. This is one of my favorites that I'm planning to use, so we'll see how that goes with it. Um, my shoes and my accessories kind of pop out a little bit more, and I just let it um, combine with something simple like some blue jeans. Um, so now I'm going to add some accessories. For my accessories, I like to add in like a watch, it just makes my look a little bit more sophisticated. And I'll add in some very simple bangles and a ring to keep it classy but not too much. Sometimes overdoing accessories or anything in general isn't the best idea. Okay, so uh, you've completed your look, you're happy. Yes. We now you know how to put it together and we are heading out to San Jose Fairmont. Alright, excellent, let's go. Let's do it.